They're like, yeah, no, he said on the phone. He told, he told her in front of me. And I was there when he told her. Like, and? She always got something to say. Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, yes, she did. No, she didn't. <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> we gonna cry a little. I can laugh her. a lot. I like her. Real shit. She she keep it real. in the right spot. Come on, Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What's going on you guys and welcome back to another video. I'm your girl Jamaica. Of course, if you are new here and you don't know what to do here, let me help you out. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button with that notification bell and just like that, you are officially family. If you have been here and you still here, you rocking, what the fuck is up? It's all love. Here's the picture. How do you feel when a man disrespects another woman for you. Just to give you an example, just in case you don't understand what I mean. Whether you a side chick or the main chick, if you ever been in a situation where you are sitting somewhere with your man and maybe you went through his phone or maybe his phone rang or maybe something happened where you found out he was being janky, okay? Fucking cheating or whatever the case is. And his response was, I don't fuck with that bitch. I don't really like that bitch. That bitch been stalking me. Ooh, that's too many B words. Please do not rule this video. <laughs> you know, that B, X, Y, Z, right? You're sitting there and he's on the phone and he's talking about her and he's saying things about her. Does it make you feel good? Does it make you feel like he loves me or he's disrespecting her for me? So that makes me somebody. Let me just say, I am not going with no man. I'm not going for any man that's going to disrespect another woman in front of me, whether it's for me or not. If you're sitting here trying to argue your case, if you're like, man, I don't fuck with that bitch, and me for the bitch, or when I'm sitting next to you, and you got the, the girl on the phone, and you're like, bitch, fuck you, and I ain't never done it all at all. As a woman, it's a no. <laughs> As a woman, it's a no. One, because the tables will turn. And I really truly believe in how you got them or whatever that saying is, is how you lose them. So if you think that he's not gonna treat you the way he just treated her, you're crazy. Now there are some instances where, you know, he he all of a sudden gets with a woman and she changes him. He learns his lesson. He decides that I'm with this woman right here. This was the woman to change me, granted. Cool. But in terms of disrespect, if I can watch you disrespect another woman in front of me, whether, again, for me or not, it's a no. You're not going to sit next to me and, and try to make you seem right in my eyes by disrespecting another woman. By disrespecting someone you're sleeping with. We're not even going to bullshit it or sugarcoat it. You're sleeping with her. Because if so, you wouldn't be this emotional. You wouldn't be calling her all out her name. You wouldn't be doing all this arguing. Like, that's unnecessary. You're, you're proving something. And you're trying to prove it to me. But you're trying to prove it to me by disrespecting her. And in fact, you look stupid. I'm never fighting over no man. I don't ever think that I have ever thought to fight over any man. There's not one situation where I, I felt like I have to show her that I'm serious about him. Like, I see so many videos of women fighting over men. I'm just like, and he's standing right there, just looking at y'all, looking goofy. And y'all sitting there like, never, 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 never. It's screw him. And I say it all the time when I'm dating someone, I'm never going to fight over you. I shouldn't have to, number one. But number two, it's not that serious. If it was that serious, I wouldn't have to fight over you. Does that make sense? And why would I disrespect another woman? She's hurt. She's hurt the same way I would be hurt. She's hurt the same way I am hurt. To put more on her hurt by disrespecting her, by making her feel like her feelings aren't valid, like she's the nut. No, 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 no. Now, I'm not going to be sister wives. Now, I may not go and shake her hand. I may not go and, and hug her or whatever the case may be. Uh, it's not going to look like that. But it, it, it won't be disrespect to her. It will be, sweetheart, we can just go our separate ways. I'm not fighting over him. In fact, if you want him, you can have him. I wouldn't suggest you do that after the way he disrespected you. But if you, if you, you know, go ahead. And I will leave both of y'all sitting there. But am I going to be okay with him disrespecting her? And then think he's going to roll over back to me like, y'all told that bitch. Nigga, I'm halfway dressed by the time you finish that conversation. I'm grabbing my keys and walking out the door. Because it's disrespectful. And nine times out of ten, you will do it to me. You will cheat and then when I'm calling or you'll try to prove to her that I'm some crazy chick. And then you'll call me and think you're going to disrespect me. And, and I'm going to kill you for disrespecting me. Don't ever call my phone and disrespect me. Let me tell y'all. 
So one time, switch all in, one time dating somebody and his Someone he was sleeping with, I don't know if it was his girlfriend or whoever may be, baby mama, whatever the case was, she sends me a text in the middle of the night. Now, the only reason I responded to the text was because when I picked my phone up, it was under his name, so I'm assuming that it's him. So I picked it up, and it was like these long text messages like, oh, he don't really love you, and da 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 da, -da and all this stuff, and he's laid up with me, and this, this, and this. I mean, she's just going on and on and on. Okay, now, it was, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, I gotta go to work. That's exactly what I said to him. I read it. I tried calling, didn't get no answer. So okay, I sent this text back and I said, look, I have to go to work in the morning. I'm grown. We can talk about this tomorrow, okay? And after that, I never got a response back. Never got a response. And so I took the phone with the text messages, screenshotted it, and when I knew that he had his phone, then I sent him the text. I didn't want to send them and then she deleted it, you know. So I waited until like the middle of the day, like my work break. Screenshot it. Sent a picture to him. So he calling now because he's like, oh my God. He got the text message. He's calling. And I'm like, for what? Why? And he got this whole story. Oh no, I had left my phone. None of you was asleep. You ain't left your phone. And I came back and got it when I realized I left it. No, you were sleeping at her house in her bed. And she picked up your phone and saw that you said you loved me because that's what it was. The last text that him and I had sent to each other, he said, oh, I love you. And I was like, I love you too. And so she came in in the middle of the night like, oh, he don't love you, da, da, da. He's like, oh, no, I left my phone. No, you didn't. You were there sleeping. And, and she seen it and she read it. And she felt some type of way. But I don't care about her. I don't care about you. And we didn't talk for a very long time. So that's what I'm saying. You're going to run into some situations. But it's all about how you handle it. I didn't disrespect her. My first thought wasn't, oh, bitch, I'm not. Because I'm not, I don't want to create that energy where it feels like I'm going to fight for him. I don't even want it to be an inclination that I'm going to fight for him. Because I'm not. Now, if you want to talk and hash this out. Or if you just want me to hear you, I'll hear you. But that's it. That's it. But we're not going to do this childish thing. We're not 16, baby. We're 30. We're not 30s. You know, and so I just think that disrespecting another woman is not necessary. And if a man thinks that he's going to disrespect another woman in front of me to show me that he loves me, it actually shows me the opposite. So you lose too. I know some women and I've seen women that like that. They're like, yeah, no, he said on the phone. He told, he told her in front of me. And I was there when he told her. Like... And the next woman is probably saying the same thing about you or will be eventually. And they're going to look stupid. But I believe in woman empowerment. And I believe in we all have feelings as women. And when it comes to our hearts and how we love, that can be the most crushing thing when a man has played one piece in your life and then the moment he separates from you he's playing another piece in someone else's life on top of that to turn around and disrespect you in the process that hurts and i just i i sympathize with women in the feeling aspect that it hurts do i think we should be out here fighting for these ninjas no i don't i don't i would have clicked that let me say something the first time i meant click click yeah, click and blocked and you would never hear from me again i never hear from you would never see me on the street i don't care how many kids we have together i don't care if you love me i don't care if you was just going through a phase don't you ever in your life play with me disrespect me in front of nobody it's not even about the other woman and i think if women understood that it's not about the other woman it's about the individual that is actually disrespecting you and the other woman i think that's powerful we need to start creating power women are so powerful but we, we act off of our emotions and sometimes it puts us in a negative space and we don't think properly and we just start doing things and we start hurting other individuals and going to jail like it's a lot of women that go to jail for men and not for me and like hold my drugs for me and like I killed her or I attacked her or assaulted her because she was dating my man fucking my man whatever case it be like you threw your life away for him and he's probably doing the same thing to other women you don't understand how much more valuable you are how that's not even necessary he can have her he can have himself he can have the 10 girls down the block he can have the girls in the next state he can have the girls in the next country I'm not doing that. If you don't want me, that's fine. I don't need you. That's one of y'all thoughts on it. Are y'all okay with a man disrespecting another woman in front of you for you? Does it make you feel powerful? Does it make you feel like I'm the main one if he's willing to disrespect her for me? I think y'all are three stooges. The five stooges. Whoever y'all look silly. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. Let him go. Let him go. Let him have her. We ain't got to disrespect nobody. You ain't got to text my phone. I ain't got to text you. She ain't got to come over here because I'm going to tell her I don't want you. Baby, that drama is yours. That's your problem now. He's no longer my problem. You can have him. Sorry.
I didn't even mean the entry with what y'all had going on. My bad. I don't, I don't even get out like that. That's my opinion. Leave it in the comment section because I really want to know. That's how, is this what we're doing? As usual, make sure you follow Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Tune in. Say hello. Don't be afraid to speak if you see me in the streets. Definitely give me on Instagram. Thank you all for supporting me on Instagram. Like, I, I truly see the love on Instagram. And I never want to miss an opportunity to say that. For all y'all who support me in my journey, I really fucking like y'all are dope. Make sure you are a part of the Maker Organization. At least tune in to the website. I have some amazing projects coming up this winter for giving away to people who are homeless. Um, giving away to anybody, any woman. So feel free to donate. Let's grow that donation and let's, let's do some amazing things for women. Women love each other, empower each other, inspire, educate, encourage, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and love.